Now we are going to India, the most populous democracy in the world, with a total population of approximately 1.3 billion. It has 37 states and union territories. There are 22 officially recognized languages and India has an enormous degree of religious diversity. Religious and cultural diversity is not a new feature of Indian society. It is not a consequence of recent migration or globalization. People of different religions have lived here for centuries, so diversity is a given fact of social life. After India gained independence from British rule in 1947, the country began a journey of legal and institutional pluralism, trying to accommodate the needs of different communities and giving them space to manage their own religious affairs. The new constitution guaranteed freedom of conscience and the right to profess, propagate, and practice religion. According to the last census, almost 80% of the population was Hindu. But this majority is internally diverse, comprised of many different groups with different beliefs and practices. সেটা হচ্ছে যে এই ধর্মে বলছে যে মানুষকে সেবা করতে হবে সেবা করলে হবে আর প্রত্যেক মানুষের মধ্যে ঈশ্বর রয়েছে তাহলে ঈশ্বরের সেবা হবে শুধু মন্দিরে যে পুজো করলেই সেবা হবে না সেই সেবা করে তাদের মানে আর্থিক দিক তাদের অন্য বস্ত্র এবং থাকার জায়গা এইসব যাতে হয় তার ব্যবস্থা করলে সেটাই আসল ধর্ম পালন করা হবে নির্মল চন্দ্র আ লয়ার এন্ড আ জার্নালিস্ট ইজ আ প্রেস্টিজিয়াস মেম্বার অফ দ্য হিন্দু কমিউনিটি ইন পানাগা আ স্মল সিটি নিয়ার কলকাতা ইন ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল কারণ ভগবান সব জায়গাতেই রয়েছেন এবং তোমার কাছেও রয়েছে আমার কাছেও রয়েছে সবারই কাছেই রয়েছে তা সেই ভগবানকে দেখবার জন্য চেষ্টা করতে হবে আসল আমি যদি আমার ভেতরে যে শোল রয়েছে সেই শোলে ঈশ্বর রয়েছে সেই ঈশ্বরকে দেখবার চেষ্টা করি তাহলে প্রচুর ত্যাগ স্বীকার করে যেতে হবে Since the 1990s there has been a sustained effort to bring together and homogenize the Hindu community an assertive majoritarian sentiment is today visible in the public domain, and its main goal is to achieve Hindutva, a way of life strongly anchored in the traditional religious, social, and cultural values of Hindu civilization. For its advocates, who make a distinction between insiders and outsiders, the dream is national unity and restoring the glory of the Hindu nation something that was eroded by foreign rulers and invasions over the centuries. এখানে আমাদের কনস্টিটিউশনও আছে যে এখানে যে যা ইচ্ছা ধর্ম সে পালন করতে পারবে বিভিন্ন পথে আমরা তার কাছে পৌঁছাতে পারি কিন্তু যারা যাচ্ছে যে পথে সে পথ সত্য ইনস্টিগেট করে চায় যে ঝামেলা লাগু এক ধর্মের সঙ্গে আরেক ধর্মে এবং তাদের তারা ঠিক আসল মানুষ নয় তারা দুষ্কৃতকারী সেই দুষ্কৃতকারীরা কোনো জায়গায় ঢুকে যে এই ধর্মে ধর্মের বিরোধ লাগিয়ে করে হিন্দু রাষ্ট্র যারা চায় যারা বলে শুধু হিন্দুদেরই গুরুত্ব থাকবে তারা প্র্যাকটিক্যালি এক সঠিকভাবে হিন্দু ধর্ম পালন করে না সেই জিনিসটা চাই 
এই হিন্দুদের আলাদা যদি বলা হয় তাহলে জিনিসটা অন্য রকম দাঁড়িয়ে যায় প্রত্যেকেরই এখানকার যারা নাগরিক তাদের প্রত্যেকেই উচিত এগিয়ে এসে ভারতবর্ষের কল্যাণ বা Sikhism is a monotheistic religion founded in the 15th century. In India, Sikh people represent nearly 2% of the population, about 25 million citizens. Most of them live in Punjab, where they are a majority group. success. <laughs> इस जिस जिस काम को हम लोग शुरू किए हैं उनको हमको पूरा करना है ये हम लोग के आशीर्वाद अपने लोगों के गुरु का इन इंडिया सिक्स आर वाइडली कंसीडर्ड टू बी हार्ड वर्कर्स वन ऑफ द मेन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ सिकिज्म इज टू अर्न अ लिविंग बाय वर्किंग ऑनेस्टली सरेंडर एज मेनी अदर सिक्स इज अ सक्सेसफुल स्मॉल बिजनेसमैन who works in the automotive sector. He devotes part of his free time to the religious education of the teenagers in the community. दूसरे धर्मों के साथ कैसे मिलके रहना सब बच्चों को सिखाया जाता है हम लोगों के धर्म में किसी तरह का नशा नहीं करना है झूठ नहीं बोलना है गलत काम कोई नहीं करना है सब हम लोगों के धर्म में यह सिखाया गया है सिखिज्म ये ऐसा धर्म है जो दूसरों को आपस मानव जीव सभी मानव के साथ प्रेम से रहने का सिखाता है ये ऐसा धर्म है जो किसी को नफरत नहीं सिखाता है क्योंकि हम लोग की जो होली बुक है मैंने बानी गुरु ग्रंथ साहब उसमें लिखा हुआ है एक कौम का सिख धर्म ऐसा धर्म है जो सब समाज सेवा में सबसे आगे है कहीं भी कुछ हो जाए तूफान बाढ़ कोई भी समस्या हो हमारे सिख भाई आगे बढ़कर सहायता करने पहुंच जाते हैं हमारी बहुत सी सोसाइटी हैं जैसे गरीब लड़कियों की शादी करानी बहुत बच्चे हैं जो पैसों के कारण पढ़ नहीं सकते हैं सिर्फ सिखों के नहीं दूसरे धर्मों के लिए भी सिख धर्म को छोड़ के दूसरे धर्मों के लोग बेहिजक गुरुद्वारों में आते हैं उन्हें किसी तरह की भी सहायता अगर की जरूरत हो हम लोग आगे बढ़ के उनकी सहायता करते हैं दूसरे कम्युनिटी के लिए हेल्प हमेशा करते हैं For the Sikh community, the 1980s was the most troubled and trying period in recent history. During this time, the demand by a small group for a separate state, Khalistan, took a militant form. The Indian army marched into the sacred space of the Golden Temple. The subsequent killing of the Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi by two of her Sikh bodyguards was followed by communal violence in which thousands of Sikhs all over the country lost their lives and suffered incalculable loss. When the Golden Temple came to the army, after that, the Prime Minister of the Army was killed. After that, in 1984, the Sikhs were killed. This was a political crisis. The Sikhs never gave up with the Sikhs. They were always fighting for their country. And the country was always filled with their country. मेरे बेटे अंगद सिंह मुक्कर एनडीए में अभी ट्रेनिंग में है इंडियन नेवी उसकी जाने की तमन्ना है मुझे गर्व है कि उसने इंडियन नेवी चॉइस की है और मैं आशा करता हूँ वो आगे बढ़कर देश की रक्षा के लिए अपना योगदान देगा हम लोग सिख हैं ये हम लोग के लिए सम्मान की बात है
Buddhism in India has a very long history, more than 2,000 years. At the end of the 50s, after Tibet was incorporated into the People's Republic of China, thousands of Tibetan Buddhists left their country and sought protection as refugees in different parts of India, like Darjeeling. Cultivate virtuous deeds. Do good, good work. Subdue your mind. Conflicting arising thoughts, you, you should have control over it. This is the teachings of the Buddha. Tain Lei is a doctor and the director of the Chagpuri Tibetan Medical Institute at the University of Tibetan Medicine in Darjeeling, in the northeast of India. The Tibetan Buddhist community tries to preserve its original culture, and it has obtained official recognition of its medicine from the Indian government. I feel that it's important that, that one must be able to preserve your own language, your culture, because if we don't do it, again, it should be lost, and then there'd be nothing for the ne next generation to carry forward. Uh, in 1959, when tens of thousands of Tibetans arrived in India, we were in a very foreign land, in a foreign culture, foreign language. The government of India and the people of India have been very supportive and receptive to the Tibetan community as a whole. We feel that we are very lucky to be a part of uh, the citizen of this great country, uh, which has many different faiths, different cultures. We being Buddhists, uh, we, we try to the best of your ability is that you have this uh, guiding principle, let's say, to generate a good heart, to just imbibe good ethical values in oneself. Uh, so, so when you have this basic ethical good moral values or good ethical human values, then, uh, then I think a person would be naturally a good citizen uh, of, of the world at large. You know? So the, not only of one country, but the citizen of the world at large. Because uh, to be a good human being, you don't have to be a follower of a particular faith. Even a person who has faith, who has no faith, uh, anybody can, uh, can have this good heart, let's say, by which uh, to have this genuine sense of well-being for others. We would think that it's very important that whichever country you, you go to, like, so that becomes a second home. And then uh, we should owe our sincere gratitude to, to that country, to the people of that country who have welcomed you. We have to respect uh, the culture, the value of that country, and also try to like sort of uh, uh, be a part of that that country and then go, and then contribute in its growth in its prosperity but also uh, the the host country should also welcome the the arrival of new people in the country if the host country also receives the people who are coming uh, in a positive way so then the people who are coming would also be would feel welcomed in a new land, and then they would also, I think, be easily able to like, sort of integrate in the society. Uh, when uh, both the new people arriving in the country and also the, uh, the host country, when, when both work together, so it's like uh, two hands clapping. Uh, so then, then in that way, I think uh, that would work in a more positive direction.